G'day everyone. For those who came in late, you're watching another one of Chronicle Chambers video reviews. Today we're looking at the trade paperback that's come out of Fruit Publications in Australia in late April of 2020. This is the third the third trade paperback to come from Fruit. This one's the Triad Saga, which was last published in the 1990s. Um, and as you can see there, the Phantom faces off against the gangs of Chinatown. And we've got a brand new cover for this by Romano Felmang, who is the story artist for this as well. So that's a nice little tie through. I've already shown you the spine there. Very consistent with previous trade paperbacks, which is nice from a collector's point of view. We can have a look at the back there. I'll hold the, the blurb up so you can pause that and have a read through that if you like. Um, the way that Fru structures theirs is they, they talk about the legend first and then come down to the last paragraph where they talk about this particular trade paperback. Uh, the images from the back there are all from Felming's work, of course, as he's the story artist for all six stories that's contained within this. And uh, that is a really nice touch. I'll talk about that more in a moment. Uh, interesting, this last picture panel is a panel from the sixth story, which was uh, drawn some 30 years after the first five. So um, that's an interesting thing to see Felming's art there. All right, as we flip the book open, um, we can see here there's something that's become something of a hallmark of, I just have to tilt this up a bit because of the glossiness, but something is a bit of a hallmark of Fru's trade paperbacks is to have the old jungle saying at the start. I quite like the uh, the opening to that. Um, and we've got uh, some the previous trade paperbacks from, from Fru and their graphic novels and their specials, so a bit of an ad for them there. Now, from there we get... Oh, sorry, I've skipped over. I've skipped over the uh, the contents, the acknowledgements, and, of course, the editorial there or the message from the publisher. Well, not from the publisher because it's written by Andreas Eriksson, um, someone who has, at different times, been the editor of the Fantelman stories in Sweden. And uh, very appropriate because, obviously, it's a Swedish story that has been gathered together here. So it should say that uh, the Triads Saga was a five-part, um, as you can see here, the Triads Saga was a five-part story that was released in the early 1990s in 94, I think. It'll say in here somewhere. Uh, from In Sweden and then in, in Fru in Australia. And uh, then the sixth story is a brand new story by Andrew Constant. The first five were, were by Claes Romerthy, a very prolific Swedish author and uh, responsible for most of the uh, Swedish storylines that have come out of, uh, Phantom storylines that have come in from Team Fatman, um over the last 30 years, I suppose, 25, 30 years. Very prolific and very influential, Claes Romerthy. Uh, the sixth story has been uh, penned by Andrew Constant and quite nicely, as I said, um, the same artist has uh, caught up with the series again in Felming. So, very informative piece there from Andreas and well worth the read. In terms of the presentation of the stories, it's pretty simple in a way, as in terms of it just being a replica of the uh, the stories as they were originally published. Fru did, of course, publish these in black and white, and uh, we now have the colour versions. My understanding is that the uh, the colour version here is how it was initially produced by Egmont, because... Uh, or Semic, it must have been just about the changeover in 94. Um, by Team Fineman, anyway, they were all in colour, and uh, so we see those here. One thing I do like about Filming's Phantom is he acknowledges that uh, Walker has got the cowl on underneath, which is it's always an interesting point for Phantom fans, I suppose. How does uh, the Phantom dress up as Mr. Walker? Throughout this series, Filming has got uh, the Phantom's cowl visible beneath Walker's cloak whenever he does. Um, you can see there the artwork is, is huge quality as we've come to expect from Phil Mang. And there's a number of panels when, as I was reading this over the last couple of days, you just marvel at the time that he puts into some of the scenery, the vines here, the, the detail on the boats. Uh, there's an aeroplane. The, the aeroplanes in here are quite remarkable as well. Um, and I've gone through two stories there, but this gives you an indication. So uh, this is as it was reprinted in Fru, except in colour. That was the back cover of uh, issue 10, uh, 1097, that one would have been. And then we go straight into 1098 and uh, the cover of those. So the only difference between this in terms of a reprint is we're not getting Jim Shepard's message from the publisher and the... Um, the forums and that sort of thing, we just, it's all story, which is quite good. It's quite good to just read, sit through and read through the whole story. Okay, 
I'm taking quite a long time to flick through this, I suppose, and, and I'm skipping over pages. It's over 200, I oh know it's right on 200 pages, this book, um, which is, which is uh, you know, quite a hefty read. And here we have part five, so the last part of uh, the Triad Saga as it was originally published. And as we get towards the end of this, um, we will see us getting into the new story. So this continues. Again. So this is the, the end of uh, the fifth comic book and the start of the brand new story. As I say, the fact that it's by Fel Mang means, again, means that there's a lot of similarities. And I mentioned planes before. So that plane, if we keep our finger there on 183, if we flick back right through to the very start, uh, hopefully it won't take too long to find it, but that exact plane and uh, uh, must have been in the second book, perhaps. Might have to take my word for it, reviewers. Goodness me, I should have uh, should have bookmarked it. Anyway, the the plane is uh, the exact plane. The um, the Dang and the chief of uh, his tribe is the exact same character, drawn the same way. And here we have Fel Mang um, re revisiting the Tiger Queen, which is the sixth story that uh, that Andrew Constant has had. Uh, sorry, that he wrote, and we go through to the end. Uh, one thing that I do really like about the way that they finish this off is they include all of the original covers for the way that Semic Press, there you go. Uh, so Semic Press in 94, um, they include all of the original covers there, so that's a nice way to finish that off. All right, so $30 at your local comic book store or through the free website or um, through any good bookshop. Um, it's a really substantial volume. Uh, the presentation is wonderful. I really quite like the presentation of this. So as a fan of product, um, it really stacks up. Um, in terms of a review of the story, I'm not going to review the story now because that's going to be something that we save for a podcast and um, the other Chronicle Chamber guys will join us and have a look and we'll discuss the story itself. Some people will like it, some people won't. The same as with the art, you know, it's going to be... Filming is a very popular fandom artist, um, and so we know that the artwork's going to be popular. The story, you know, there's some minor quibbles with it, um, and, and I'm sure we can explore that in detail in the podcast where we talk about the way that the narrative unfolds. Um, but, uh, look, as a package with the five triads, triads stories and then followed on with a revisiting of... Um, of one of the favourite villains there, the Tiger Queen gets a rego in story six. It's really quite uh, an entertaining read and certainly helped me out on this weekend when we're, you know, staying at home. And it's a really good excuse to just sit down with what is a good book. So um, in terms of how many good marks out of five am I going to give this one um, as a product, as something, you know, that you can like in the shelf and can go back to read, I'm going to give this Four, four and a half. I'm going to go four and a half good marks out of five for this book. It is uh, really enjoyable and one that you're going to want to pick up. So look for it at your local comic book shop or on the Fruit website. All right. Until next time, everybody. Thank you very much for watching and happy fandoming.